Believe it, wrestling fans. <laughs> Again, wrestling fans, and welcome to the National Wrestling Federation and Championship Wrestling. And on our program this week, you are going to see the wild man from the Sudan, Abdullah the Butcher. Also appearing, Mr. Anthony, who is a self-proclaimed sweetheart of wrestling. Accompanied by his manager, the one and only Dr. Carl Farragut. Now, as we promised last week, NWF Ladies Champion Wendy Victor in action against top ranked challenger Heidi Lee Morgan. Stay with us. Action on Sports Channel Sunday. But all the same, it is happening. It is right before our very eyes. So therefore, you must believe it. I don't know what we're going to see here. Those of you with black and white TVs are not going to appreciate this. <laughs> no, no. There's an awful lot of color up on that ring right now. And I'm not talking about the color of the ring being blue. I'm talking about the, all the participants out here. This is going to be something. Uh, Uncle Bob has something in his hand. And uh, well, he was talking earlier about a picture that he was going to present to the people of Allentown. And now I see that he's carrying the picture in the ring with him. And I guess he's going to be making that presentation in a little while. I'm not sure what the idea of all this is, but we, we know quite a bit about Uncle Bob. It's not exactly one with both oars of water. I've known him for a number of years. And he is, uh, uh, let me put it this way, uh, <laughs> he's uh, kind of on the border between, as he says, genius and insanity. And I have a feeling I know which side of the border he's already crossed over to. Yeah, I think he's leaning one side, definitely. Is, uh, I don't think you have any questions about that. Well, this Uncle Bob's a real Uncle piece Bob, of work. There's no, there's no <laughs> two like him. And then again, who would want there to be no. two in this world like that man? Let's say this is a, a presentation to be made this afternoon to the people of Allentown. Well, I concerning know. a picture that he was talking about a little bit earlier, as we talked about. No, I don't know. I think uh, he, he was hoping that uh, the mayor would be here. I don't know if he's able to make it, but he may make the presentation to the queen, who right. we just saw earlier. Now. She had been out here, and uh, I'm not, uh, Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, oh. the favorite of the area. And here he comes, to the pleasure of everybody in the crowd, Randy He-Man Lewis. Randy He-Man Lewis feeling right at home. He is here. Well, I'll tell you, this guy is, a, this guy is, he's obviously he's gonna spend a few hours in the gym, hasn't he? Most definitely. Oh, boy. I'll tell you, now, Lewis is gonna have to uh, be on alert for uh, not just, uh, Mr. Anthony, but uh, double got stack. Got Look at that! Pushing up the ball out of the way. Let's not mess around with those guys.
Hopefully the crowd knows what the bar pretty well. Yes, I think he does. to bring this thing in the middle of the ring and show the people of Allentown, but I cannot believe it. Well, I, it's just like, it, it's like I said, Bob is not, he's, always, uh, he's not uh, moving them too well these days. I don't believe it. Throw this guy out of the ring already. We'd like to get this wrestling match underway. I'm sure that Mike Mittman is ready. The wrestlers are indeed ready. The ring announcer is ready. Randy He-Man Lewis is ready. Uh, Bill May and I are ready. <laughs> I'm sure you're but ready. Bob does not want to shut up. Well, what, is, the, what is going on? He's got their wrestle. That's all good. Come on. Guys, please get him out of the ring. Get their wrestle. Get your buddy out of the ring. Get him out of the ring already. We're tired of it. Uh-oh. Oh. Look at this! Oh, oh my God! Look at this! Oh, he's gonna oh, look at this. Take any more of that! Look at this! Carl Farrington gets out of the ring real quick. In the meantime, Uncle Bob gets it on the top of the head. He puts it. No, uh -oh, look Uncle out! Uncle Bob looks like he's gonna get it now. Oh, there goes Randy He-Man Lewis chasing everybody out of the ring. Got a clearing house right now. Randy He-Man Lewis, a man of men. Look, the crowd loves it, ladies and gentlemen. Talk about Uncle Bob on the outside with the <laughs> painting that he was so happy about is now looking the way it should look, in pieces, over the top of his head. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this contest is going to go on for a 20-minute time limit. It's over the end of the present time, weighing in at 239 pounds on the land. A crowd pleaser to say the least.
Well, we've seen a lot of rhetoric so far, but we're finally going to get to see some action, I think. And when you have Randy He-Man Lewis in the ring, you have action, without a question of a doubt. And, of course, you do have the one and only Mr. Anthony, who is, without a doubt, one of the top ten heels, if you will, in the National Wrestling Federation. A man who you don't know what color his hair is going to be when he steps out of the locker room. Or what he's going to do in a ring, either, for that matter. A little hard to, as he tries to push Randy He-Man Lewis to the ropes. Mike Mippen, referee, calling for a clean break. A little slap in and the face. he doesn't get one, of course. Pulling his hair. Pulling his hair. Well, somebody about there's, a big, uh, there's a big thing about Uncle Bob and Dr. Carl Farragut having co-managership yeah, of Mr. Anthony. What's going on here? Do you understand well, we'll the whole situation? We'll get to the bottom of that a little later on in the program. Well, I'll say one thing about... Uh, what are you talking... What's your problem with Farragut? Wait, what's the story over here with you two? Yeah. I want to know what's going on with you two here. All of a sudden, you're co-managers here. In the, in the meantime, in the middle of the ring, more action. Mr. Anthony in control right now. Trying to put a suplex on Randy He-Man Lewis. And not having too much success right now. That's for sure. But Randy does have success, that is for sure. But he turned that around in a hurry, didn't he? Whew. Randy He-Man Lewis, a man of men who is definitely powerful in every way, shape, and form. Uncle Bob now in his skirt of the ring, distracting the referee, and he does that very well. In the meantime, whoa! A foot. Oh. by Randy Lewis. Mr. Anthony getting out of the ring as well he should. He's got to take a breather after all the punishment he's taken for the last five group. minutes. I'll say something about uh, Randy Lewis. He certainly made sure this thing was going to get going. He got rid of that fixer and Uncle Bob in a hurry. He just didn't take any more of that. Plan. That's right. He wasn't going to put up any more of that nonsense. He wants to get back into the action. There's no question about that. Now, for some reason, uh, Mr. Anthony seemed to have a little discussion with the official. And once again, uh, the distraction from the outside. And that's exactly what happened there. Well, once again, Mr. Anthony going back to work on Randy. He may have Lewis. Blatant chokehold under there, it looks like, from here. Referee uh, Mike Bittman trying to, oh, the knee into the back area, the small of the back. Mr. Anthony now doing a job on Randy He-Man Lewis. Once again, Uncle Bob up there distracting referee Mittman. Mr. Oh, my, look at this, it backfires. He won, two, three, it's all over. Randy he Bob getting out of skirt of the ring, trying to do a job. Now look at that. Randy He-Man Lewis backfires on Mr. Anthony, and that is it. Randy He-Man Lewis, a man chalked up another victory. Federation Wrestling Fever. Catch it at an arena near you. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest, it is a one-fall event. Introducing, making his way into the ring from Ontario, Canada, weighing 218 pounds, Ricky Bauer. And ladies and gentlemen, his opponent from Europe, weighing 251 pounds, what? the yep. godfather of professional wrestling, Damien Kane. What ever brought this one on? And Damien Kane is accompanied by the Daughter of Darkness. Whatever brought this on, I will never know. This is a definitely an unusual event here in the National Wrestling Federation. And once again, Damien Kane knows exactly how not to treat a lady. Yeah, he just uh, pushed her, took her by the back of the head, and held her, just uh, really uh, pulling her hair got her to stand where he wants her to stand and that's it you don't move but damien tells you where to go look at this raised his hand to her yet too man's getting on him a little bit damien going to action against ricky bauer unbelievable 
this is a really different event. Damian Kane making an appearance in the squared circle to do battle. I don't know, must, Ricky Bauer must have done something to annoy him. I, I would think so. I, I, I don't understand why he's in here, but I just wonder if the uh, Mad Dog is not too far away. That's a possibility, too. There's always numerous possibilities when you're talking about the godfather of professional wrestling, Damian Kane. And I will mind you that this man is a great wrestler. He might not be that clean, but he does know how to wrestle. Well, there's no question about his wrestling ability, but there's also no doubt about his meanness either. You can see that right away. His underhandedness and, and the way he punishes an opponent. Look at the way he just throws people around. I mean, you have to watch every move he makes. And the referee definitely has his hands full. Look at it, he just flipped them over with that clothesline. So does Ricky Power talk about having his hands full. Oh. Yeah, Ricky Power is not getting any offense going at all here. Looks like it's almost over before it even started. Damien Kane now. Looks like he's getting a suplex ready. Yes, he does. A snap. Look at this. Puts him on the rope. What are we doing here? I don't know. What in the world is this? I don't know what in the world he's trying to do. A suplex from oh. the second rope of the ring. Look at this. this. Holy oh, no. Oh. I don't oh, believe it. Gosh. What a devastating move. Oh, no. Oh, oh my oh. God. No way you're going to get up from that. Oh, that's incredible. What an incredible move oh. by the Godfather. Oh, unbelievable. Oh, I, 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 I'm just speechless. I don't know what to say. I guess, uh, the way he orders. Ladies and gentlemen, in one minute, 17 seconds, your winner, the godfather of professional wrestling, Damian Kane. He's this with a rocket. Escorted by his manager, the godfather of professional wrestling, Damian Kane. Well, you talk about an awesome individual boy. This oh, guy, my goodness. This guy's a condominium, I believe. The size of this guy. Thank you. Abdullah the Butcher. Yes, oh, my yes, goodness. Yes, 486 you. pounds from Sudan, Africa. I think he is a Sudan. Wrestling fans, Africa. the following really contest, is it individual. is set for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. Introducing to my right, he is accompanied by his manager, the godfather of... Oh, he goes to work on him early. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Waste any time. Look at that. Oh, the yeah, ring. Ripley nailed it. Adds right into the ring almost immediately here. Abdullah's going to work right away. He's going right after him, too. And look at this. David right outside the ring. David, David distracting. Distracting yep. the referee, Rich oh, Ingley. Right into the post. Oh, my oh, goodness. This man is just unbelievable when it comes to destroying. Oh, look at this. Oh, a shot to the back of the head. Oh, oh, another one. Open cherry has two. Guys, get over here. You have to go out. Rush the line. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. He's not coming oh, back. On, Stop this man. Where's in the meantime, Damian Kane on the side of the ring, distracting the referee all this time. Jeff Gripley is definitely in pain. Well, that's Damian Kane going to work on Gripley outside the ring. Oh, my God. Come on. What happened to the other half of the ref? Come on. Uh, now, Damian As you see, uh, Julie McTavish outside of the ring pointing it out. And uh, didn't make much difference because still the recipient. Look at this. Abdullah working on the forehead of Jeff Gripley. Every time that man is in a ring, I've seen blood. Every time, without a fail. Uh, look, look at this. He has just gotten into his. There's something. Oh my! There's something he's told. No, we can see it. He's never seen that. He's bleeding now from his forehead. Yeah, some kind of foreign object. Uh, the butcher, yeah, as he's well known. I think Tully McTavish should stay on this side and watch what's going on over here. Because there are things happening on this side of the ring. He's bleeding from the forehead right now. Jeff Ripley. Abdullah standing on the... Oh, look at that. 500 pounds on the chest of Jeff Ripley. That is enough to make anybody cringe. And once again, the Godfather Professional Wrestling distracting the referee. Now, as you know, there is a second man who is on the outside of the ring in one, Tully McTavish. And Jeff Ripley, the brunt of some 
more punishment from Abdullah the Butcher. McTavish is, uh, is uh, admonishing, but so far, that's all it's been at the moment, as Gripley is in a lot of trouble. Oh, oh my. That's like getting hit with a semi-tractor trailer truck. Unbelievable. And the kick sends him out to the bottom of the ring area or the floor. Oh, and he just cooked yeah, out a bit of working on him. Unbelievable. And he puts him back into the ring where Abdullah is waiting. Sends him out. Back out the table. I just missed us. Well, everybody, I'm going to put you on the way outside. And we're going to have to move out of the way ourselves because there is on the outside of the ring. Oh, there's a table. Everything is just gone out. It's incredible. But uh, yeah, going for the count. Yeah, so, so far, oh, and so is picking up the table. Oh, oh, Damien just unbelievable here. What this man Jeff Gripley is going through. He's bleeding profusely from the head right now. Tully McTavish now on the outside of the ring trying to help him back in. Why is he helping him back in? That's what I don't understand. No, I don't understand. This man has obviously had enough. Damien not exactly helping the situation. Obviously he's not. As he gets tossed in, oh boy, he can't even move. He is, he is, he's, he's a piece of meat down in the ring. Bleeding profusely from the forehead. I know, I know, I know. Rich Engling now counting him out as he was trying to get up on top of the ropes, and who knows what he was going to do from that angle. Unbelievable action here. I'd say the action of the National Wrestling Federation is just incredible. A body slam by Abdullah. A long way down when you're coming down from that guy's height. And it looks like he's winding up for something. Here he goes. Oh! If that doesn't finish him, nothing will. And he yeah, finished him up. But it finished him up easily. That's on most oh, definitely. Oh, oh, oh. That was easy enough. Uh, the referee probably Jamie and Kay now instructing Abdullah to do it again. And he does. Oh, oh he just shook the whole ring area. One, two. It's all over. He could have counted from here until next over. week. Right. There's no question. Jamie and Kay are completely out of it. I mean, this was all over. Yeah, if this man is even going to get up from all this punishment, Damian Kay now, what's going on? He's taking a microphone. He's got the microphone. He's got the microphone. Come on. Grab the Do something here. This is ridiculous. Another one with the elbow under the chest. Ah, right in the eyes. He almost into the uh, larynx, really. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of the match. Four minutes, 31 seconds. Your winner, Abdullah. The Butcher! What a despicable individual this guy is. And they're bringing out the stretcher. Look at this. For, uh, we need the Mr. medics, Ripley, please. Medics to the ring with the stretcher. And, uh, I, yeah, well, how many times I've seen that, I can't even count. I just say, you just, uh, You can't even count the, the number of times that you've seen Abdullah the Butcher. And he gets a put him in the wrestling. He just gets a pleasure. Oh, 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 Referee and also uh, Dooley McTavish, they got to get this guys out of here. This is ridiculous. Ah, oh, come on, guys. No reason for this anymore. Now it's, uh, they're going to have a hard time just getting off to the side of the ring here to get him off of the dispenser. In the meantime, the Godfather of Professional Wrestling is going to be enjoying this. Yeah, the crowd's starting to chant, we want Brody, only because they want to see Brody possibly do a number on the man that you see leaving the ring area right now. As you see, they're covering up the working on Jeff Ripley. I Ripley is really out of him. Him. There is absolutely no chance of him moving right now. Abdullah now walking over to him. I don't believe this. Oh, pick up the pick chair. Up the chair. He's going to go over and do it again. Wrestling fans, the National Wrestling Federation brings you the best in even ladies' competition. Standing next to me, the flamboyant Heidi Lee Morgan, who has taken on all kinds of opponents, no matter who, where, when, why, and has come out on top convincingly. Well, it's about time you got my name right, flamboyant. All afternoon you've been screwing it up. And out there, I challenge Wendy Richter 
Every place I've gone, I've talked with all the promoters. She keeps on dodging me, and I was supposed to meet her here tonight to wrestle her, and I'd like to know where she is. I want to prove that I am a much better person and wrestler than what she is. And every time I turn around to prove that I'm stronger... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse, excuse me a second. Hi. Damien Kane, ladies and gentlemen. Damien Kane, how you doing? I've been watching your style. You've impressed the hell out of me. I've seen you go in there. I've seen you busting up all these ladies. Right. Everybody knows that you're a top lady wrestler. Right. I've seen it for myself. I know, what you, I know the type of problems that you're having. I know the type of problems that you have. The promoters in the National Wrestling Federation, I don't know what Wendy Richter does to keep herself in that limelight, you understand? You and I both know yeah, ladies' charm right. can do a lot. Now, you understand right. what I'm saying? I know well, the I type of problems. I strength than that. I thing. believe you, honey. I believe you. I believe wholeheartedly that you can get the job done. That's and right. I, if you don't mind, I'll give you a little piece of advice. See, the Godfather's been dealing with the National Wrestling Federation for a long time. He represents the top talent in professional wrestling. You understand what I'm saying? Yep. We're talking about the National Wrestling Federation heavyweight champion with DC Mad Dog Drake. That's right. We're talking about Abdul the Butcher. That's Pretty impressive, huh? Oh, huh? that sure is. Well, I don't usually get affiliated with ladies. No offense, no offense, but I believe a lady can get the job done on her own. Oh, that's right. A good, strong lady can get in there and can kick some butt when she has to. That's right. That's right. And that's got exactly what Heidi right Morgan's right all about, that's right? right. That flamboyant that's Heidi Morgan. That's right. And all you need is your chance at Wendy Rick. Am I right? I'm the guy. I'm the guy. I can get the job done and if it's okay with you i'll make a little deal with you i get you wendy richter i get you a match with wendy richter I want wendy richter and you beat her for the ladies title and then you just go out there and you just show that title as proud as can be because that's all the thanks i want that's all the thanks i want for you defeating wendy richter will you do that for me I sure will you do that for me I you sure what's will. going on here wrestling you fans you I sure will. can you believe it look out sure wendy will. richter hide it down, right down, here, down baby. oh that's yeah right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kinkalo now sticking his head outside of the ropes to get instructions from his manager. In the meantime, Jimmy Londos made a move, but Kinkalo was on, awake and ready for it. Jimmy Londos is being distracted by that manager on the side of the ring, and that could cost him a little problem there later on. Attention to the match. No question about that. Oh, it looks like they're finally getting ready to uh, hook up here. Londos working on that left uh, elbow. And yes, most definitely. Oh, turn about fair play right now. As he continues to work on that arm, King Kalua, another one of the underhanded wrestlers in the National Wrestling Federation, somebody you do have to watch out for at every turn. Well, I think with this uh, yeah, a reversal there by Jimmy Londos, nice one, and a little bit of a twist on that arm, putting a little pressure on there. King Kalua now in a slight bit of trouble and pain. Yeah, I think with the addition of that manager, Dirty D's out there, this uh, is going to make him even more dangerous in that ring because uh, Most Dirty D's been able to distract some anybody the way he's been behaving. Now, he doesn't look that big of a guy, but the, the fact of the matter is, in this particular situation, you don't need to be a big guy to carry around a weapon. No. Nope. Right. You know, next you know, thing you do is you see the man walking around with a cane in his hand, you know, things like that. Look at him. Here he is, right by our ringside. Come here, behind us. There he is, singing his praises. Yeah, see, not exactly a modest individual, is Not at all. Get ready to hook up here again. They're still uh, a little leery of each other at this point, but... Yeah. It won't take uh, long for them to get back into it. They have... Kinkalo all of a sudden starts to explode and gets things underway in a real hurry. Somebody you have to watch out for. Jimmy Lalo's off the ropes. Now King Kalua laying down on the mat. Oh, a good leg takedown by the King. He's a very, very scientific wrestler if he wants to be. Yeah, that's the key, if he wants to be. Yes. We don't see that. He has a lot of good wrestling skills. Has spent many years as a, as a veteran here in the National Wrestling Federation and uh, has done a great job and can be a very good wrestler. If he just put his mind to it and stopped worrying about it, there is a nice drop kick by Jimmy Londos. And King Lewis slides out in a hurry. I'm going to take a little bit of a walk here to figure this one out. There was definitely some cobwebs in his head that time. Took a flying drop kick. 
from Jimmy Lavos. Jimmy Lavos ready for action in the middle of the ring right now. Red Jingling doing the counting right now. That just barely got back in. You may have heard in the background, he just counted the nine. He just barely got Most back definitely. in. Most definitely. The dirty deeds uh, trying to intimidate the referee at the moment, too. Also distracting the referee, and that's going to uh, make it it's almost like a one against two in this particular case. For, uh, There's a nice arm drag takedown by Jimmy Lando's in the center of the ring. Dirty digs up, uh, up on the apron. Jimmy Lando's going for it. There it is. Just exactly what you said not more than a minute ago. Not even a minute ago. Here it comes. Dirty Deeds doing the distracting. Kim Kalua going to work on Jimmy Lando's in a hurry now with a, an elbow to the chest as he whips him off the ropes. This is where Jimmy Lando's has to really be thinking ahead here. He can't let the, the him let, can't let himself be distracted by this Dirty Deeds character. And there it is, a body slam by the King. In full control of the match right now. Jimmy Lando's flat on his back in the center of the ring. What a fantastic bit of action here in the National Wrestling Federation. Hey, the uh, King uh, has a tendency here to strut around and he gives his uh, opponent a chance to recover a little bit, but now he goes right uh, back to work on that back. Ooh, Ooh. a backbreaker there for the King against Jimmy Lagos, and it's a three count. It's all over, ladies and gentlemen. What a, I mean, after that distraction by Dirty D, well, that did it. It over. was all over. It, it, the, the whole match seemed to turn around. Yep. Just right away. And it, it just didn't take long for him to do the thing. Ladies and gentlemen, the time of the match. Six minutes, 21 seconds. And your winner, King Kahua. Godfather of professional wrestling. Sit up and pay attention, maggots. Sit up and pay attention. The Godfather of professional wrestling bringing home some of the best talent in the world today. When I'm talking about the best, I'm talking about the number one hitman. The number one hitman in the Godfather's best family of professional wrestling. The world champion, heavyweight champion, and do the butcher. Pay attention, Jack Bernstein. Pay attention. If you don't behave yourself, Abdullah might just butcher you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bring us any kind of match you want. Bring us a steel cage match. Bring us a barbed wire match. Bring us any kind of match you please. Because when you're talking about Abdullah Butcher, that's all that counts. When it's all over but the shouting brother, you're looking at one of the most awesome forces in professional wrestling today. 462 pounds. You're talking about an unstoppable a wrestler. That's right, and the lady you see in the ring there is the one and only. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the Lady Wrestling Champion of 
So she deserves it. She has defended it against everybody and anybody. And now it's time to defend it once again against the flamboyant Heidi Lee Morgan here in the National Wrestling Federation. Well, Heidi Lee finds herself in her uh, workouts and feeling that she's very strong, goes for the hair that her has to pull her down that way. Her, her strength in weird sort of ways. She would be great if she used her strength to advantage instead of being underhanded the way she is a lot of the time. Well, she really took a shot in the stomach from Wendy. Wendy knows how to do it. not let up. If you cross her, she is a dangerous lady to do business with. And she's ready. That's one thing you'll find. She's not going to take a picture. She's going to fall off. Oh, oh, oh. She's going to in the hard way. In the hard way. Look at this. This could be a great shot. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, my goodness. Well, one has to get out of the ring because Wendy is booted up on her a little bit. Well, hard to be without in a hurry. That boy and Heidi Lee Morgan slowly getting back into the ring. Now a shot. They're in the corner locked up. Referee calling for a clean break, but you can forget it. That is not going to happen. Van Boy and Heidi Lee Morgan with a choke. No, she's not doing anything. No, first off. A little Ram choke again. Hurry. Yeah. Air bullets just kind of flings her over. Look at this move. Oh, my. Oh. Heidi oh. Lee doing some damage there. I don't know. I thought I could put it there. When you're on the count, Leo. Not too happy for the count either, apparently. No. The referee. She wants it less than three seconds, I think. Yeah. A little longer. Look at this. In the meantime, Wendy Richter, get ready to do it. One, two, oh, oh. two and a half. That's two. The referee keeps yelling, just two. That's it. That's, that's, that's two. More action than you can call this one. Again, two. This is another one of those matches that it's hard to call. Just kind of got to watch everything and see what happens. Oh, look at it. Oh, that was a new I show. Know, what happened there? I don't know. Boy, it was interesting. Oh, two and a half on that one, just about. I'll tell you. Right. It's incredible action. There's a little oh, choke here, I think. Of course, Heidi Lee no, no says she's not. Referee said there's no choke going on there. Wonder if she's not straight out of it. Oh, going to the hair. Oh, man, we saw it. Yeah, going to the hair on that one. The referee, of course, didn't. Got to change the camera angles here. And yeah, right after, oh my, my goodness, where did she go? She really flew high. God, she really went flying in there. She's kind of... That's great. It's going to be worse than Wendy Richter does. Unless she's going to be able to get up or not. She did good, really. Oh, my. That goes to the leg. And now it's trying to pull her out. Trying to pull out Wendy. This is a knockdown, drag out brawl. As you know, Flamboyant Heidi Lee Morgan has no love lost for Wendy Richter. And she's been after that title for the longest time, saying that she could beat Wendy Richter if she had the chance to do so in the middle of the squared circle. Now she's getting a chance to do it. And Wendy is having a little bit of trouble here. But then again, you look at some of the tactics that the Flamboyant one has resorted to in this particular match. And you see that. Now the referee's got a little bit of all this. Look great, trying to get a little of fingers. He's counting. Little squabble. Oh, huh? Then Brian went down again. Look, he got in the middle of a little squabble there. Yeah, he kind of got pushed into it. Giving the upper hand once again. What you have? What you have? There's a one and a two. Huh? And a two and a three-quarter count there. 
pretty close, but no cigar there. Oh, she missed her. Oh, she caught it. Oh, my. Oh, she caught her dead air. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Nobody home there. Oh, my. up with a shot to a canvas mat. Oh, That's a hard mat, that too. Yeah, this one is. There's no doubt about it. And she just flips over. I don't know, going for the... Howdy Lee now, in control. Wendy yelling choke, and she reverses it. Oh, there's a knee platter right in there. Well, these two ladies do not like each other, and there's no doubt about that. You can tell in all the interviews that we've done, all the times that we've talked to the, either one of them, they both would like to put each other out of wrestling. Reverse that one. Oh, right into this. Oh, look at this one. Oh, she can't even see how long today. And a rope that just couldn't move her at all. Oh, goodness, that, that was a shot that hurt for sure. What are we look at this, go. Oh, no, look at this. One, two, three. Oh, that's not good. Oh, my. What a move. What an outrageous victory. And what a match this is. Oh, it's unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, it was incredible. Incredible, actually. has in the past successfully raised funds for fire departments, booster clubs, police groups, and many other organizations. If you are interested in sponsoring a great card of NWF Professional Wrestling, contact the NWF at Fundraisers, P.O. Box C, Philadelphia, PA, 19142, or call 609-962-6000. NWF, a successful fundraiser, a proven winner. Federation Wrestling Fever. Catch it at an arena near you. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just been handed this announcement. We don't know how Damian Cain has done it, but he has succeeded in getting Heidi Lee Morgan a steel cage match against Wendy Richter. Now this is set for next week, and it will be a first on national television. You do not want to miss this. Wrestling fans, next week, a steel cage match featuring the ladies. I'm Phil May. See you then. Why is it when the price of stamps goes up, 